So this weekend, Tilly House is doing something completely new. We've never really had a professionals conference that we've hosted before. But we've decided to um, really take our new prehistory gallery and our new prehistory collections project to a new level and host a conference that's going to welcome fellow um, academics, museum workers, um, field archaeologists, hobbyists, metal detectorists and anyone who's interested in prehistory across the north of England to come together and talk about northern prehistory. So we've got a keynote speaker by Professor Richard Bradley who anyone who knows their prehistory will know him. He's quite an important person and he has a, quite an affection for Cumbria so we're really pleased that he's come up to do our keynote speech. So we'll be having talks from him and other talks from other academics. We'll be having interactive workshops, gallery tours, and we've also got a field trip out to Cumbria to look at some of the hidden prehistory in the Cumbrian landscape. But it really started from this gallery, which you can see here behind me, which opened this summer. Um, and when I was tasked with refreshing this area, I realized that our collection hadn't really been looked at that closely. So I thought, why not explore more about what we've got in the stores? And to do that, I um, thought I'm going to need some help from some academics and some friends and some colleagues to really understand what we have. So from talking to people across the sector and across the north of England and the south of Scotland, I realised that we really have a lot to offer in the north of England that is to do with prehistory. It's not all about Stonehenge and Wiltshire. We've got stuff right here on our doorstep. So why not get together and celebrate that and talk to each other and maybe start planning how we can do more about prehistory in the north. It's really important for Tully House to be um, involved in this kind of thing, especially to do with history and archaeology. And we, we have the collections and we, we offer these collections to researchers. So if we can strengthen our links with universities, places like Durham and Newcastle and Edinburgh, then we can really get those researchers in, we can learn more about our collections and then we can tell people about that. And we can make um, Cumbria a, a proud place for people to come and study prehistory.